Uh, there are a total of more than 80,000 plants here in this pavilion. Uh, when you look up, we have uh, hanging pots with uh, draping vines uh, coming down. That takes up about 1,700 plants. Uh, on all the cones, inside and outside, we have about 45,000 plants. Uh, so together with the periphery planting, the trees and shrubs all around you, uh, we have about 80,000 plants in total. There's a lot of conscious thought that went into uh, creating or designing this pavilion. Uh, in terms of the energy uh, management and also how passive design can also help to uh, conserve energy. Uh, this is also in line with uh, our sustainability goals to make sure that we can achieve what we set out to do, which is the uh, net zero pavilion uh, throughout this six months expo period. Plants that grows on work, so we do our planting vertically. We don't have enough space, we don't have enough... In the pavilion, we also have three climbing robots that are designed to be very cute looking. Uh, so they would help to monitor uh, the, the, the system and also the plant's health uh, to make sure that you know, we can achieve the target that we are set out to do. Uh, so uh, the, the robots will be climbing on a vertical wall along the surface of our, one of our cones uh, to, to take in, to monitor and through machine learning it can identify whether the plant is doing well, whether uh, replacement needs to be made or, or, or temperature, the humidity and so on and so forth. It may not be the same condition in every other country, but this is what we think that uh, is a possible solution where we can integrate nature, embrace nature into the built environment, architecture, whether it is skyscrapers, residence, commercial buildings. It is also a way for us to rethink on our uh, environment, our future, as urbanization happens, and which is inevitable because population will grow, and we need more cities, urban areas to house the people. Uh, maybe in development, in the urbanization process, we have to find a solution and we think that greening could be one of them, uh, which is why we say that this is actually a prototype uh, for us to bring to Expo. We don't claim that this is the solution for everybody, but 
we are here to learn from everyone and also to share with everyone what we have learned ourselves. And I think it's for every country, the world co global community, to, I guess, um, rethink, uh, reassess, appropriate, borrow, learn from each other, uh, that we can address this big issue of sustainability, which I don't think just one person or one country can solve on its own.